extreme heat warnings are posted tonight across the central U.S., and we're certainly feeling it here in Texas. Temperatures feel well over 100 degrees, and public health officials say heed those warnings because about 600 Americans die from excessive heat each year. Errol Barnett is in the thick of it. In Madison, Wisconsin, volunteers are going door to door checking on the elderly. St. Louis is in the excessive heat danger zone, meaning prolonged exposure to heat and humidity could be deadly for the most vulnerable. The National Weather Service's heat warnings cover most of Missouri and eight other states. The entire world is seeing an increase in temperature at an unprecedented rate. This is the first scorching heat wave the country has seen this summer. What we're currently seeing is that there are twice as many record highs on any given day than there are record lows. And this is really significant. So we will continue to see record breaking temperatures as we go on into the future. The dome of heat will head east by the weekend. Portland, Maine will feel like 98 degrees on Saturday. New York City will feel like 112. And in the nation's capital, it will feel like 107. Now, this heat wave will last through Sunday at the very least, but consider this. A recent climate study predicts that the U.S. will face more days that feel like 100 degrees or above. That number, Nora, expected to double by 2050. That's hot. Errol Burnett, thank you.